Well, Redders, we're at the end of, or nearly at the end of your first season at Sheffield United, but two more to come now. How happy are you to have signed a, a new deal? Yeah, it's 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 great. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Um, you know, I think we've we've made good strides this season. Um, you know, I've um, really enjoyed myself working with the girls. I think they've been absolutely fantastic. Um, we've got big plans to try and move forward, and 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 try and get into that top flight. And you know, I'm excited about the challenge. Yeah. Does the fact that you've signed for two more years does that show belief in in the project in the squad that we've got now that in two years' time you believe we can be you know further on than we are now and obviously the ultimate goal that you keep talking about being in the the WSL. Yeah, that's that's the big aim. Um, I mean, obviously we want to be playing top flight football. Yeah, and your backroom staff have signed on as well for next season. How important is that consistency both for you and for the girls as well? Oh, it's massive. Yeah, I mean, you know, the the, the guys have worked you know tirelessly through the season and you know we, we, with great skill as well. You know, we've we've got some really some really good staff um, supported really well this season. Um, you know, I think we've learnt about what we want to do. Um, you know, the, the the girls have you know acquitted themselves great with with the staff. Um, you know, we've got chance now to sort of build something that that means something. Um, and the staff are looking forward to it as well. I mean, it's it's a good place to be. Yeah, and as we said, first season's not quite over. We've still got an FA Cup game left. But what's been a, a standout for you this season? What's a moment that you that you'll take into pre-season with you? Um, I think probably the, the the biggest thing is the the the, the the pro the progress of, of the second part of the season I think that you know we really kicked on um, you know I think it was all a little bit of a whirlwind at the beginning started off great we were bang at the top of the league after the first two or three games um, and then obviously you know the, the the league's tough you know and we had some indifferent results and I think we picked up since I think it's November I think we'd only two defeats since November something like that um, which is a phenomenal run you know it's it's promotion form really. Um, you know, and 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 the girls have sort of really bought into what what I'm looking for, and you know, and what we're looking to do, and they're getting enjoyment out of it, which is the most important thing. Um, and we're, we're building. Yeah, and there's been some real positives everywhere around the pitch as well. So we've been talking the last few days about the away record this season, joint best away record in the league, joint best defensive record. Obviously, France got. I think joint best clean sheets, and obviously down the other end of the pitch, Wilco's won the Golden Boot as well. So there's been some real. Positives for the team, but some real individual highlights as well, which shows the strength that we've got at, at both ends of the pitch. Yeah, absolutely. It's you know it's, it's a really good point, and um, like you say, I mean it, the the clean sheets. You know everybody looks at Fran; she's been fantastic this season. I think that's a collective, as is Wilco's. You know goals tally. I mean she, she's a, an outstanding max max woman. You know in front of goal, she can finish. She's got un, unbelievable ability, um, and she's only going to get better for me. Um, um, but I think as a collective, I think you know that them them awards or, or that recognition, you know, runs right through the team, you know, because we do things as a team, and um, you need your teammates to do that. You need your teammates to keep clean sheets, and you need your teammates to score. So um, it's it's good because it's it, it means we're doing things right. Yeah, and how excited are you as well as a coach that prides himself and has worked a lot with youth teams and producing young players, whether it's been in the men's or the women's game, in two years' time, where Lucy Watson might be, Tamara Wilcock, Charlie Doherty, even players like Bex Rayner, you know, still very young in and around the first team. What their progression is going to be like now moving forward? Yeah, well, they're key. You know, they're key to all this, um, you know, because they're young, um, they're, they're right at the, the beginning of their journey. Um, they've got all the career in front of them, massive amounts of ability, you know, lots to come from them. Um, and they will shape the future, you know, and... Um, um, I mean, I've, I've said it before, and it, it's about building, it's about team building, it's about putting the team together. Um, but your young players are, are, are so crucial to that, you know, because they, they evolve and they develop with that team, and, you know, they're, they're there as the long-lasting long, in, long in part of it. Yeah, and finally, obviously, the fact that you'll be here next season means you and the staff will now be planning for next season and what next season's going to look like. Squads always obviously change over the summer, whether that's ins or outs. Without giving too much away, but what are you... What are you looking at in terms of pre-season and next season in terms of what you think you need to add to this squad to go to that next step? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's going to be some girls leave. Um, that That's natural, you know, some with their own decisions, you know, some because, you know, you, you, you're looking to change things, how you want to bring, you know, your own players in. Um, but, but all of the girls, you know, and, and this needs... You know, for me, putting on record, they've all been fantastic this season. They've all put a real shift in, really applied themselves well. Um, but like anything else, you know, if if you're going to be successful and 
you're going to evolve as a team, then you know we, we need to maybe get two or three quality players, you know, to 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 just make the difference to get us over the line. Um, you know, we've got people we've identified. We've we've been working towards that since maybe March. You know, we've started looking towards next season as well, and you know and what we can do because you know it's 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 important that we're we're, we're at the front of this and. Um, I think we've we've done quite good business so far with with the people that we spoke to, um, so you know there's there's lots there for us to uh, to be positive about.